Yeah, I think this is gonna be my favorite ColourPop palette, hands down. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be going over the newest ColourPop collection with Raw Beauty Christie at Forsyth palette. It is so gorgeous, so cute with all the mushrooms and definitely a color story up my alley. I also picked up one of the eyeliners. I've never tried the ColourPop eyeliners, the pencil eyeliners, and I got the shade Marigold and it is so cute. It has little mushrooms on the cap. It's adorable. And I did swatch it on my hand like two hours ago and it's still on my hand. So I have high hopes. But before we get into just the palette, I did want to say that my friend Nessa did point this out to me that the Raw Beauty Crazy palette kind of looks like one of my favorite palettes, but a lot of people hate this palette. <laughs> but it's definitely one of my favorite palettes. If you guys know me at all, I love, 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 love the Subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. A lot of people have been comparing these two together. So that'll probably be in another video. Let me know, do you want a video with a subculture versus Col ColourPop, Rob Beauty Christie palette? Definitely let me know in the comments and I'll do comparison swatches and one eye subculture, one eye ColourPop. And then the other thing that I wanted to point out was the Pure Rob Beauty Christie palette collection. There are some similar shades in this palette too, like Camelot and Chant Chanterelle, Chanterelle, whatever that shade is, look kind of similar in Copper Boxes and Puffball is a little bit similar. They have just the slightest differences. Uh, also the blue in the colorful side is way more of a true blue and the blue in the ColourPop palette is more of a navy, just to let you guys know. But if you want swatches and everything comparing the palettes, let me know. This palette is $20, which is lovely. I have been loving ColourPop lately. I got the Baby Yoda palette and I've been loving it. So one of my favorite YouTubers with ColourPop and I'm digging ColourPop and it has one of my favorite color stories. It is a yes already for me. I'm dying to dig into this. So let's get into the swatches for this palette. Per usual, I did it outside, no primer, just swatched on my arm. So we have Puffball, Chanterelle, Rainier, Old Growth, Evergreen, West Coast, Homegrown, Amanita, Fiddlehead, Emerald City, PNW, and Let It Rain. And these shades look amazing. I don't even know what I want to do with this palette just yet because I feel like you go in a lot of different directions with this palette. Even though it's a smaller palette, you do have your more like pinky tones, warm neutrals, you got some pops of color, more grungy. I don't know. I just think there's a lot of things to do, but I do want to show you guys what the Marigold eyeliner looks like. So I'm probably going to try and lean a little bit more on the yellow side. So I'm gonna prime my eyes off camera with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna get into this palette. Oh, also I said the price of the palette and not the eyeliner. The eyeliner is $7. It'll be all down in the description below. All right, digging into this beautiful palette. I am so excited. How many times do I have to say I'm excited? I don't know. But I'm first gonna take the yellow shade that is hard for me to pronounce. And all of these shades, by the way, with swatching them were very soft. And there was only one that was a little bit more on the drier side, but I think it'll be just fine. Look at how beautiful that yellow shade is. Oh my, that is so pretty. If you guys watched Raw Beauty Christie's video. I was so intrigued by her story of how she came up with um, the color story of this palette. I don't know, I thought it was so interesting, but like 
it was kind of like a oh wow like duh that's a thing of like uh taking a picture and using the like little color thing and like picking up colors out of nature like what <laughs> that's such a smart idea the next shade i'm gonna take is a kind of like burnt orange shade rainier and i'm gonna put this on my outer corner and kind of blend it into my crease here Ew. yes that's what i need in my life that looks so pretty together oh my gosh the yellow with this like burnt orangey shade oh my gosh i could literally just leave it like this call it a day yeah i think this is going to be my favorite color pop palette hands down it's like a brighter version of the subculture i feel like the subculture is a little bit more muted and grungy and this has a little bit more of just like a warmness to it similar color story but color pop is a little brighter that's what i'm trying to say going back in with that yellow i'm gonna blend out the edges sometimes i can i cannot keep up with color pop but lately these collabs they've been coming out with i'm like all right, I'm a ColourPop fam now. And then I'm gonna take the shade Emerald City, which is a green kind of shade. And I'm gonna put this on my outer corner very carefully because I don't want it to get muddy. So I'm kind of just like stamping it on my eye don't want to blend it too much, but I feel like these would look really pretty together. Ooh, I love these colors. I've been in such a neutral eye makeup kind of rut, and this palette is fixing to get me out of this little neutral rut, because I feel like I keep leaning neutral with everything. And then I'm going to take the Rainier shade again i'm gonna put this on my outer corner kind of help blend out some of that green there all right something in my brain is telling me to go with old growth we'll see how this goes <laughs> so i'm gonna take old growth and just put it all over my lid kind of blending it into that kind of green shade that was not a bad decision and then just taking a little bit of that emerald city and just tapping it to intensify the color a little bit i really like how this is turning out and then i'm gonna take the shade west coast which is the yellowy gold shade and i'm gonna put this in my inner corner and just a little up into that crease right there and then i'm gonna take this shade evergreen and i'm gonna run that underneath the lower front part of my lash line and last but not least i'm gonna put marigold in my waterline all right before i do my lashes and everything i just want to do a little close up of the eye look everything layered very well nothing got muddy or patchy or anything like that everything blended so well so if you like the color story of subculture i think you're gonna really like this palette but i'm gonna finish off with some liner lashes all of that stuff and i'll come back with some final thoughts all right this is the finished completed look i actually really like how this turned out for my lips i use the rare beauty lip cream in the shade brave i use the new fenty highlighter in royal icing for my highlighter yeah let me know what do you think of this eye look i think this is a gorgeous 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 i look i love the shades i love the color story it is right up my vibe i love subculture type colors but i say it this is my favorite color pop palette for sure i absolutely 
love this palette. Let me know, would you like a three looks, one palette, or would you like the subculture compared to the Raw Beauty Christie palette? Do you want both? Let me know in the comments. And also this yellow shade is bomb. Like it looks so cool in my waterline. I just, I'm loving it. So now I kind of wish I picked up more of them. I've been loving colored pencil liners. I don't know why, but colored pencil liners and cream blushes have been my vibe lately. I don't get it, but that's what I'm into. But that is the end of this video for you guys. If you guys want to check out my last video, swatching out the new Fenty Diamond Bomb highlighters, then that video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.